Hey guys, just a quick one here. I was going through and searching for all my sky cameras across the world on Earth Online and come across this one. This is the first one that they're visible enough to stop and make a quick video of. I may end up adding more to this video, so I don't know how long it'll be. But yeah, these things are becoming visible all over the world, folks. If you're still denying it, if anybody is still denying this, yeah, uh, I don't know what to tell them. There's not much hope for them. Unless they are born again in Jesus Christ. If you're born again in Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter what you pay attention to. Actually, I'm seeing three. Here, I'll, cir I'll circle them real quick. One here, one here, and one here. Here. Here and here. There may be more. There probably is. Because what I've come to understand is there are constantly large bodies in our view that they keep us blind to. I don't know how long this is going on, but I don't know about the whole Nibiru... Uh, theory, this and that, you know, I mean, I've looked deep into it. The only thing that I can tell you that I know for a fact that rings true, no matter what I study, the only thing I can tell you that rings true is that we are under a shit ton of deception. And we cannot believe anything they tell us. Put a comment on the last video I did, unrelated, but it was something I thought of earlier. I don't know why nobody's ever noticed this, but it's so in your face, it's literally slapping you with the lie. Alien, spell it, A-L-I-E-N, slow it down, A-L-I-E, they add the N just to sell you the lie. I mean, an illegal alien is from another country. Hell, if you want to get technical, when you go to someone's house, someone else's house, you're technically an alien in that house. You don't belong there. You don't live there. That being said, the aliens that everybody's so... mesmerized by are demons. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm not saying there ain't planets with life on it. I'm not saying they haven't visited here. I'm just saying the one thing I know for a fact is that the aliens that we're dealing with now are not aliens. They're not from freaking Zeta Reticuli or whatever, whatever the hell, wherever the hell they say they're from. They're not. They're from another dimension. Many of our higher-ups have actually admitted this. Well, not higher-ups. You know, CERN's admitted it. Several scientists have come out and said that they are in touch with interdimensional beings. Now, that being said, what type of interdimensional being could you think of that would want to, behind the scenes, influence an entire planet's worth of people? A whole race. Angels wouldn't do that. Angels stay out of those affairs. Angels give hints to those humans that they deem worthy enough to go in and make a difference. They're demons, folks. It doesn't matter what anybody says. It's going to be all found out soon anyway. 
Why do you think they're pushing this disclosure so soon? At the exact same time that they're rolling out the beast system on us so hardcore that it's literally, you can't keep up with it. All you get on the news is effing propaganda. Left, right, poor, rich, black, white, hate paradigms, propaganda, separate, divide and conquer. This isn't going away, it's only going to get worse. The only thing we can do is know truth for ourselves and share it with others. It says somewhere, I, I'm, I read a little bit in the Bible here and there. I don't do it all the time, but I make it a point to try to read in the Bible. I can't understand a whole lot of it, but what I do understand and what I can understand I just lost my point. Oh, I remember. We are told if we see danger coming, sound the alarm bells, share the news, tell people, warn people. Look at this coming down on the screen. What is this? If we do that, if we see it coming and don't warn people, their souls are on us. Their lives are on us. If we sound the alarm and people don't receive it, then it's on them. It only makes sense. And I hate to say it, but I'm almost positive. I'm looking at two light sources here. No, no, never mind. No, I'm not. It's just a reflection off of water in the atmosphere, but still. It's blatantly obvious, people. Anybody that can't figure out what the hell's going on around them by now, as blatantly obvious as it is, they really seriously need to wake up, get their head examined, or something, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, just, I don't even know how. It, 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 it breaks my heart daily. Every time I think about those who are just asleep, don't know what the hell's going on, following the whole COVID agenda, the whole, uh, you know, pitting everybody against each other. 90% of what goes on that are done by individuals, it's either staged or it's triggered, and they use both as propaganda. They say this and that, and they make this happen and that happen, and then when people snap, they're triggered. They go out and do fucked up shit. Excuse my French. But doesn't matter what they do, they're going to use that for propaganda. On top of what they stage to use as propaganda. So, don't, be, don't get triggered. Don't let stuff trigger you. That's really our strongest point right now, is not to get triggered, not to be separated. I don't care who it is on this planet. Don't care their color, shape, size, creed, mentality, money status, mental status. It does not matter to me. They are all my brothers and sisters. And I will treat them as such until my flesh days are over. Which I have a very, a very sneaky suspicion is going to be very soon. I won't preach... To people, I'll only tell you that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, the only way to heaven. You got to look at it like this. 
Satan was a disease destroying creation. And the only way to rid all of creation of said disease is to destroy all the bad parts. If you haven't made a choice to follow Christ and be loving by now, you're not going to, and you must, you can't take that shit when you die and go to heaven, you can't. Literally, everything negative has to be left here. That's just, that's just my inner knowledge telling me that. I mean, you can't carry that shit with you. Why even harbor it in the first place? What good is it doing? Destroying your health, destroying your relationships, which in turn can destroy your chances of success in life. Not like that's much of a worry anymore. Anybody that's still trying to be extremely successful is just, they're, they're out of their minds. They think they're going to survive God's wrath, in which is that planetary system that we keep looking at. We are not appointed to wrath. Those who are born again in Jesus Christ are not appointed to wrath. We are appointed to trials and tribulations. I don't understand why some, pe some people believe that there's going to be a tr pre-tribulation rapture until somebody made it clear to me recently in a, in a video that these people think that tribulation and God's wrath, the day of the coming of the Lord, are the same thing, and they're not. There will be seven years worth of trials and tribulations, which we are in now. I believe we're halfway through now. And God's wrath is appointed to only those Let's just say the demonic bastards on this planet that are doing what they're doing to us. That's the way I understand it. That's really the only way that it actually makes sense because it does say somewhere else, I can't remember exactly where else in the Bible, that Christians will be you know, or persecuted, beheaded, and stuff like that. Because Jesus makes it a, p a clear point to say when they revile and talk, you know, down your name for his name's sake, be exceedingly glad because those will inherit the kingdom of heaven. There, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And he says, anyone who will deny my name to man, I will deny their name to father. In other words, if, 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 if they come to your door or knock on your door, are you a Christian? Come with us. You say no, even though you are? Not no more. You have just literally, you gave it up. You denied his name to man. He's going to deny your name to the Father. I don't know, man. I don't know what else to say. People have got to wake up. We have got to get more people to wake up. The whole point of Jesus Christ's existence is to save as many souls from the pits of hell as can be done because he knew we were tricked. He knew we were tricked. Every turn we make, every thought we think even is manipulated. He knew, and he knew we didn't deserve it. He knew the human race all didn't deserve to, and if, he wouldn't, if it wasn't for him, every soul I guarantee every human soul would belong to Satan right now if it wasn't for Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ and his followers, us, we are the believers, are literally a systematic cleansing program for creation. And then the whole end of it, when God comes down and says, okay, time's up, it's over. Hell, uh, Satan, hell. All Satan's followers, hell. Demons, go to hell. Sorry, but you know, don't know what don't know what else to do with you. You're not going to keep wrecking my creation. That's the bottom line. That's what Jesus's purpose, along with us who follow him's purposes, and the and the depth of things. And that's the way I understand it. You know, that's not written in any Bible that I know of. But when I put together what I know, 
it leads me to a lot more than my soul knows. I'm not even sure what my point is. Other than I love you all. We're running out of time. And I've gotten together a lot more of my favorite uh, cameras pointed at the sky on this app, on this phone, finally. So I'll probably be making more videos. I'll probably be watching the skies a whole lot more. So, anyway, till then, everybody be good to each other. Love each other. If you don't have Jesus Christ, I'll suggest you yeah, find him now. God bless you all.